Good evening, Britain, and welcome to Eurovision 2010. I'm Graham Norton, speaking to you live from Oslo in Norway, site of this year's competition. Now, if you're looking at this thinking, gosh, Norway looks a little backward, and that's because, of course, this isn't Norway. This is Lugano in Switzerland in 1956, home of the very first Eurovision Song Contest. Now, these little spheres you see are the Eurovision moments we've all shared over the years. They estimate 120 million people across the world are watching this competition right now. And the idea is we're all sharing the moment. There goes a moment out into the night sky, joining millions of other moments as we take a whistle-stop tour through the history of Eurovision. First song you hear, Sandy Shaw, winning for Britain for the very first time in 1967. Big Ben. Right in 1974, what won that year, I wonder? Yes, ABBA, Waterloo. Nice moustache. French people must get bored of that Eiffel Tower. They nothing else. Dublin, what's for us? Rain. Andros. Oh no, Johnny Logan that was. And what's that? Sure, it's Istanbul. 2004, we're getting up to date now. There it is, Moscow, 2009. Scene of last year's Moscow, or Eurovision. It's early for that, I'd have thought. And now the moments collide. As they head to Earth, and find Oslo. There's their new opera house. That's a new ski slope they're very proud of. They have stopped showing to you. And this is where we are, the Telenor Stadium. 18,000 people in here tonight, all eager to see 25 countries competing. Somewhere in that crowd was a member of the Norwegian royal family. We're not sure who. We don't think it's a king or queen. 